So are you red or blue on this? In the war to save Zion, what part will you play? Hello and welcome to another PC Time Capsule video. This time covering Enter the Matrix, a game from yesteryear. The Matrix trilogy had just come out and oh my gosh, The Matrix was everything. And to talk about Enter the Matrix today, covering it on PC and Xbox, playing at the exact same time, I'm joined by John Lindman. How you doing there, John? I'm about as good as the square <laughs> wheels, Alex. <laughs> I think so. I think the reason we're doing this is because this game has a reputation for having one of the worst PC conversions of all time. Yes, it does. Uh, and today we're finally going to explore, like, what's really wrong with this port? Why is it like this? <laughs> uh, and how does it run? Like, because so you're playing on period appropriate hardware and in Very fact, probably like pretty high end actually for that time, right? Yeah, I mean, this game is like a 2002-2003 release. The GPU I'm using, actually, though, is from 2002, shortly after the Xboxes. I'm sorry, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> shortly after the Xboxes uh, released. Um, and, uh, <laughs> oh, God, this is this recording. You know where this is going. You know where this is going. Well. Um, shortly after the Xboxes release, um, it is a... NVIDIA GeForce 4 Ti 4200, uh, the 8X uh, AGP version. Uh, this card, essentially, if you look at the specs, I'll put them side by side on screen right now, uh, next to the Xboxes, I think it's NV34 GPU or something like that. Um, yeah. They're extremely similar. They're both the same DirectX level, same OpenGL level, etc. Uh, they are extremely similar. Just mine is clocked higher. The rest of the PC is a uh, Pentium 4 at currently 3.4 gigahertz and 512 MB of RAM. And as you can see, the game looks a, a little different here on PC. Uh, I'm running at 480p. Uh, here, wa walk over to one of these pillars here. Back yeah, up sure. a little bit and try to get close to the model so we can kind of see her in the corner. Oh, this guy uh, may attack me in a second here. Uh oh. So wait. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well. Sorry. I'll oh. go take care of him too. Why not? Good stuff, yeah, because he's he's getting in my Hello, in the way. Oh. I, I think you're just punching yes. a civilian there. <laughs> I'll I'll punch civilians too. Let's do this. I mean, if you're watching this right now, you are already seeing some intense differences um, between the PC and Xbox version here. Uh, we'll we'll get to talking about those in a second after we dispatch the guards because unfortunately the guards get in the way and they're a little bit annoying. Okay, but, I think we're clear now. Yeah, I'm clear as well too. Honestly. For the most part. This first room is not the worst place to start. The sort of like doubling of geometry to create the reflective floor. It's evocative of the lobby scene from The Matrix. Yes, it uh, is. Of course. But yeah, the, the way the... So yeah, let's back up to these pillars a little bit. You get a, you get a nice close look at this model. So one of the things this port is known for is... <laughs> the, the low polygon <laughs> count the square wheels the characters that look like they're made of fewer triangles than Lara Croft or similar amounts from the PS1 <laughs> uh, so Alex let's let's continue forward a little bit and why don't you explain what's going on with that like, we got to okay. start there why is it so broken in that sense okay so the game on PC actually does have um proper models it's a it's you know that's the default setting actually the issue is um i i'm hitting the button here the issue is that um running at that default model lod quality the game runs so poor that it is almost indescribable just as you're seeing here i made some small little benchmarks here using fraps on the screen that you can see just the frame rates tanks any single time the camera moves if you'd use the default LOD setting. Um, and this is stuff that happens on the period correct hardware. It doesn't matter what your graphical settings are. Otherwise, it doesn't matter what, uh, you know, like the quality of anything else is, the, re the resolution. It just runs poorly. So you have to run in this forced LOD quality mode to, uh, to have the game run better. That's essentially it. Would you like to save your progress? I'm just going to say yes. Um, there's a lot of saving here. Um, so at least the PC version has faster loading. That, that, yes, this is a 7200 RPM hard drive uh, that it's also running on. I think the Xbox was, what, 4800? 
hundred RPM. I don't know. It's it's a slow drive, but it's, it's not drive, actually. Yeah. It's not running from the hard drive on Xbox. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, it's uh, it's a, uh, it's from the disc. <laughs> so the forced LOD behavior is something that is essentially from period correct hardware is required to have this game running well at all. Um, I do like this, like when you punch these. Oh yeah, they, punch they have the like lockers. The, it's like MGS2 style physics stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. A little bit of that. So I, I appreciate that. I mean, the yeah. aesthetic they were going for is not bad. Yeah. Uh, I get the impression they were inspired by MGS2, Metal Gear Solid 2, but uh, I don't think they quite understood. Yes. Or, or weren't, or at least weren't able to kind of deliver that sort of visual fidelity. Yeah. Or like utilize things quite right because it's not good. <laughs> it's not that great looking of a game. I mean, if we look at here at Niobe really quickly, we can see what almost looks like a specular layer on oh, her coat. It, you'll see it much better in the Xbox footage here. It's like a fake specular. Yeah, it's... Uh, it works. It works well enough. I mean, I'm happy with it. Where am I supposed to go here? I think we're supposed to go in this door here. There's an arrow on the top of the screen. And I know, easy, I'm, I, I'm seeing it. There <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these environments are kind of like Oni. Mm -hmm. They remind me of, or they're very utilitarian. Oh, so, so oh god, just I, I like what you're saying there, John. But every single time I like round a corner or move the camera, the game just stutters. It's, it's so, it's so brutal. Let, oh. Let's let me quickly touch on the Xbox version then, because this game sure. actually came out on three consoles at the time: Xbox, PlayStation Two, GameCube. All three basically look about the same. The main difference is that PS2 is limited to 480i but it also targets 60 frames per second. Uh, Xbox, well, GameCube is 480p at mm -hmm. 60 frames per second, and Xbox can go technically up to 1080i output, uh, but we're using 480p, and th the reason for this is that, in reality, it's not actually 1080i, right? It's, it's a higher resolution, nominally higher resolution, very slightly, but it's interlaced, and, you know, looking at... 1080i versus 480p, the 480p mode actually looks cleaner. <laughs> it's a bit. So, and that might just because be due to the interlacing. I'm de-interlacing this, or I was de-interlacing with the RetroTink 5X Pro. That's what I'm using here to capture 480p. Um, and I do think the 480p mode looks a little bit better. And the reason we're doing uh, 4x3 is so that we can match it with the PC version. Yes, because I'm dual uh, viewporting this right now, being piped into OBS, as well as running it uh, directly on a CRT as well. Uh, which, you know, analog capture. Uh, I would have loved to have done FPS capture here for this game. Uh, but yeah, honestly, uh, analog FPS uh, analysis, analysis is not exactly easy. Um, so why don't we do a let's let's do a comparison? Sure, like, let's do a comparison. shot so we can we can run down the hall. So where where are we at? Okay, here? So, so you're uh, you're right around middle, where I am in this middle section here, right? Sure, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We're in the same spot. So let's start just like you know you get a look at it. The environments all look very similar. So it seems like the lot stuff applies just to like objects yeah objects i was gonna say skinned characters. meshes because i think they are but you never the car, know back though. Then. <laughs> the car uh that i don't i hope that wasn't a skin mesh so I, I know i it's like wait a minute what what are these actually uh <laughs> but so let's just run to the yeah. other wall sure let's do one that. two three run oh gosh uh, look that <laughs> matrix run like that full tilt matrix run is just ridiculous i love it so so there, there is some weird stuff with the animation in this game. It, you it, can't I, walk, at least. Yeah, you can't sort of. walk. You're always constantly no, you, running. You can walk. You can walk. See, it's like. Oh really? Uh, oh, it's it's. Walk. There's no analog movement on PC. I don't believe. Also, oh, so, you, so you're just like full blast all the time. It's, it's silly. Full her blast walk run. animation's amazing though. She's like <laughs> strutting. Like yeah, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna turn on uh, fraps right here because that's the way I can actually. Uh, Determine take a look frame at the, the frame rate and stuff so it is like 60 but you can see it's like really fluctuating and stuttering uh when i do anything and when i get into combat <laughs> when you do anything when i get into combat for some reason that drops frame rate even more pretty often i think the issue with this game and the reason why the the forced lod helps the frame rate so much is that there's something going on with the way geometry is cold and rendered uh it's yeah really weird exactly um, but John, do we want to check out some of that W buffer action here, if we can? Oh yeah, let's do it. The W okay. buffer. Yeah, I've, so, I've got to take on these dudes first. Oh, see, like, look at this. Like, the frame rate just drops for reasons. 
unknown. Press the button. Mm -hmm. the, the forklift button. The forklift button. Space bar brings me over to punch this guy. So the... Okay, so one of the main things about the Matrix that's well known is slow motion, right? On Xbox, yeah. hold the trigger, everything goes slow motion. It's sort of a cumulative blur effect. It's the Looks same on all, good, on all the consoles. Looks good. Everything's still 60 FPS. You know, it's 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 a pretty cool effect. Uh, we learned on PC that this feature is actually called the W buffer. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Which uh, I'd like to believe that it stands for the Woo buffer, you know, after John Woo, because, you know, <laughs> but I could be wrong. I mean, or maybe it's would, just the woo but buffer. It could be but. the woo buffer, but you'll see what the woo buffer does right here. So I'm looking right now. <laughs> Let me, it's 50, 59, 60 FPS. I'm going to hit the woo buffer button. Ooh. 20. <laughs> I don't know what they did on PC to code this. One, it doesn't look as good as the Xbox no, one at looks, all. It looks weird. What the heck? Yeah, it looks really bad. Uh, 17, 15 FPS right now. I don't know what they're doing. Um... Accumulation blurs, blurs were definitely popular, uh, possible on this DirectX 8.1 GPU. Yep. Um, and I've played this, you know, I've, I've played side by side with John just casually looking at Halo. And this GPU runs Halo, uh, you know, a pretty high end well, shader model game. Even, yeah. you know, it runs it well enough. But like for some reason here, my goodness, the W buffer, <laughs> it does not like it. It's 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 more of the L buffer, I would say. Yeah. Have you have you advanced beyond me, John? I'm sorry, I went too far. That's you need all to jump here. I can. You need to jump through that window. Oh yeah. Just let's go through these doors. Oh wait. Yeah. Let's punch this dude. Okay, I'm quite a bit further. Wow, how did you get? So you have, much you have to press the you have to press the forklift button. Ah, that forklift there. button. Yes, of course. The way they do shadows, I don't love. Like. Like they only draw them when you're within proximity of a, of a light. What is interaction actually? I'm curious. I don't I've know. It's hit the, it a bunch of times. The, it's the door door open button. Maybe it's Q. Let me take a look at the menu options. It's, I was just playing is it this Q, earlier. Is it Q, Natalia? <laughs> okay, interaction is F. Oh, that's very modern. Well, I'm hitting the F. Maybe you already did it. No, it's telling me I still have to hit it. What's this about? Uh oh. Uh-oh. Did the Matrix just... A, is this a, a glitch game. in the Matrix? Um, so... <laughs> well, I'm, uh, uh... Oh, God. Um... <laughs> Naomi, what is wrong? Everyone, we'll be right back. <laughs> so we're back um engaging in close combat here as the character ghost and i wanted to talk a little bit about exactly what this game is trying to be it is a yeah that's right you know like we have to think about it the matrix has come out already amazing hit movie uh cinematic masterpiece sequels are on the way um, this game is supposed to tie into the sequel by telling the story of niobe and ghost and how it, you know, is involved in the plot of the second film. Correct. Um, They're directly in the film. These are based on the actors and actresses that are in the movie. Uh, the Wachowskis are involved. Um, and they go, interestingly, to Shiny Entertainment. So, Shiny had a pretty good history at this point. Uh, obviously, they made Earth from Jim. But the stuff that I really loved was, of course, MDK was amazing. They did Wild Nine. They did Messiah, which was bizarre they did sacrifice but the thing is is like throughout most of the 90s after after they did like earth from jim and such they became known for their pc work mm -hmm. right excellent yeah, right? pc specific games like not even targeting consoles usually right and that's yeah. so that's that's really interesting and then it comes to enter the matrix and i think what probably took them out this time is one uh, they had to essentially be ready with this game to coincide with the movie, right? That's part of the deal with yeah, doing a movie, movie tie-in game. On May 15th, you're here. The next evolution of interactive entertainment has you. 
Let's go. Enter the virtual world of the Matrix. A parallel universe to the Matrix Reloaded. Actions that take place in the game that you move through and play affect the film plot. Packed with one hour of exclusive footage. In the video game, there's certain information that you don't get from the movie. And two, I don't think they'd ever done ma multi-platform development like this. <laughs> no. Right? It's releasing so many versions right. that all at the same time to meet the deadline of the film, Correct. essentially. It's a big ask. Even big still... Usually that translates into one of the console versions having serious problems. Uh, but I guess they figured they had to get that right. Mm -hmm. And in the end, the PC version got the short shrift. And it oh. turned out remarkably poor. Uh, it's honestly shocking to me that it turned out the way it did. It is intense. Given... I'm dying here. To say the least, when you have like only a handful of... Uh... I'm going to go into slow-mo here. Well, that effect is pretty cool. The bullets flying in slow-mo is pretty cool, admittedly. Oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't gonna, look that good on PC right I, now. I, I'm climbing the fence, though. <laughs> look at his, you. Oh, my gosh. Leg. I have such low HP. His leg. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh God. Yeah, I'm going to die unless I uh, take cover. Oh, that's here. right. They make him fall down there. So now I need to... Um, I actually forget how to do the... Characters walking forward, even though I don't want them to. Anymore. Oh, oh, Alex, do you want to know what button on the Xbox fires I, your pistol? I died, John. It's <laughs> what is it? Oh, I'm I'm firing the pistol. It's, <laughs> it's the black button. Remember the black and white buttons? <laughs> what were they thinking? The, the most obvious action button on the controller, <laughs> the black button. Nestled down there in the corner. That's the button you use to fire your weapon. Okay, so they were definitely <laughs> going against the grade here, as you can tell. <laughs> they were trying to... Uh, Whoop. I mean, Whoop. oh my god. <laughs> do, you, do you see what I'm doing, by the way? Yeah, they are doing it fence. way better than I did. That's uh, where you need to be. You you have to clear out the dudes, get back to that other room. Oh, I'll be there in a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speed run this. Let's do this. I mean... Now I can... I'm Go constantly running on PC anyway, so speed running isn't that actually hard. It's just the frame rate is. Oh my oh. god! This use the woo, the woo buffer. Yeah, the oh. W buffer. Just so everyone knows, playing this on PC right now is not exactly easy. It is very disorienting to play at such low, jiggly frame rates. Oh my god! Uh, it looks that way. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna fire the weapon. So. I mean, so they, so Shiny had to put out so many versions of the game, sacrifice the PC version quite, you know, quite obviously. <laughs> We're showing that off right now. Um, yeah. But, John, how would you say the quality of the performance is currently on the Xbox version as you play it right now? Uh, it's good. Like, it's, it's pretty good. much just a stable 60. That's amazing. Uh, you know, it's a little smoother than the PS2, I guess. PS2 is also mostly 60, but the bigger battles tend to have some dips. Uh, and Xbox has a lot of dips when you're in the 1080i mode, but the 480p mode is really good. So, oh, like, man. pretty sure that the Xbox version of this game is the best version. Oh, it, it looks like it I just would from say. here. So I'm getting it, shot at from above. This sucks. I don't want to be moving like this. Okay, so shoot. Okay, Alex. Okay. Kill the guys. I'm going to try. You know how? Pr press the black button. <laughs> <laughs> no. So PC, the controls are at least a little bit more reasonable. Uh, I got to okay. get out of here because, you know, like, I'm currently on the the ground dying due to the... Uh, okay. Stop, stop. Stop. Go, yeah, I can't around. stop, turn unfortunately. Turn around. Oh, okay. okay, there's dudes. Uh, where did you come from? Oh, you see, you don't... No, no, you're going the wrong way. Go straight. Go right. Go back Oof. where you came from. Dude, way, if yeah. I go down the ground, though, the smoke will kill me. Oh, you have to, though. Oh, this is so... This is debilitating. Okay, like so run, run as fast as you can to the no 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 you can't open the door. Okay. Okay. Go back. You have to go back to no. See that thing at the end of the hallway, the cage. It's doing you damage to, to me as I go over but there. John. That's where you have to go. <laughs> oh, see, you have to okay. run like run straight through that door all the way as fast as you can. Okay. So what I'm gonna try and do is if I oh, can. Maybe, no. 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 Whatever. Just try it. Run. Just I'm hurry gonna focus run you... it. Focus run it. Okay, run all the way through to that door. And then immediately turn right at the end here. Okay. okay you're still good. 
Okay. All right, see this crates there to the left? Climb the crates, climb the crates. Oh my gosh, five climb HP. Those crates. Now here's the thing. Does my HP regen? Please now, say yes. Turn around. Okay, my character keeps walking even though I don't want him to. I'm enjoying but... this full screen part of the video. Where we're just like watching <laughs> you. Oh, your health is up, look. Oh good, You're fine. okay, You're fine. so I just need to go down there now? No, 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 Cl go to the fence. All right. Good. Walk to the fence. And hit what there you go. Go, go to the left. <laughs> just, just look at that animation. <laughs> Keep going. What is he doing? Keep going. <laughs> look at his knee. <laughs> <laughs> Do I hit spacebar okay. again? No, I'm just no, going to keep doing this. Go, just go press down. Like walk down. Okay. The, go okay. down the fence. Now, here's Incredible. what's going to happen. This is the best design. Watch. You're going to run here. You're going to fall off. Now go do it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. You know, I give up. Enter the Matrix game of the year 20, uh, 2000. What did this come out? Three? 2003? Game of the year, for sure. This, so, that, like. I'm just can, chilling here waiting for you. We can talk a little bit about the design here because I get the feeling like Matrix lends itself to a video game almost perfectly. Yeah. And they did not necessarily take advantage of it in the best way that they maybe so, could have. Okay, now turn to the right. See the skylight? Step on it. <laughs> yes, I would love to save my progress. Okay, so the thing about this is I, because of the different game types and the cinematic stuff, I feel like they were trying to make a cinematic style game at a time before that it had been really defined, right? Mm -hmm. They wanted to make like an Uncharted game, yeah, essentially. I agree with that. Of what we would have today. That's what they wanted to do. But the tech for doing that was in its infancy. I don't really think that formula had been established. But we would see better examples. For instance, uh, EA would release the Bond game, Everything or Nothing, mm -hmm. which I think is actually a pretty good example of doing what point. the Matrix probably should have done. Um, okay, you, you got it? A little hard okay, to uh, even shoot. Like, the performance is so bad. The, the, th the thing is, though, is that the follow-up game, I think, actually does get noticeably better. Mm. It's really weird path of neo in fact i want to cover that at some point because it's so interesting but uh that has a lot of fixes that make it just play better and it goes to some weird places this game though just feels horribly unfinished hey you figured out how to walk so no the thing is john i don't know why my character's walking i i'm not oh. hitting actually forward <laughs> oh, no. i'm not hitting forward there so uh so here we go also, the cutscenes are 30 FPS. Yeah, they are also on PC, which is interesting. Um, you know, usually cap, on PC, the cap. the cap is not always something you could rely upon, but on PC, it does actually seem to be a good cap. Man, these character models, they're real bad, dude. Like, yeah, they I, are great. So, bad. actually, I would say dur during this era, I feel like this, this is... I hate to say it, but Japanese developers just had a better handle on how to model characters for video games. At I this time. agree with that. They did a much better job with their low polygon budgets, creating something that just looked like more visually pleasing. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, I think that one of my favorite examples of this is, you know, Soul Calibur on the Dreamcast, right? The character models look amazing, great, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Mortal Kombat Gold, they look terrible, but they have like four <laughs> times the polygon budget. So they have way more geometry, but they look so much worse. So where where, where am I going? Okay, here? so see that fence? Yeah, where those baddies are. Yeah. You know what you know what you do with the fence? You climb it while the bad guys are shooting at me. Well, you shoot them first. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. Or wait, I, did I find a different fence? I'm actually getting to, just follow the arrow. Yeah, arrow? my arrow disappeared. It just didn't, doesn't want to show up anymore. Well, no wonder you're having such a hard time. No, like just like there's a lot. This animation. <laughs> no, see, I think you're actually in the wrong spot, to be honest. Oh, well, of there's course. A, there's another. There's another fence to climb. Oh, yeah, incredible! Okay. Can't wait. I'm having to guide guide. When it said enter the matrix, it's it, you know, it's asking you to make sure you have a guide with you. Look before at this entering. spawn closet that they have. What is this? What purpose does this serve for this building? I don't think love you're it. supposed to go back there. It's just a. It's a warehouse room. Oh, okay. I love those too. I, I believe that those do actually <laughs> exist, but they would have stuff in it. Okay, okay, let me hit. Let's see if we can reconnect here. So go that way. Yeah, yeah. 
Turn, yeah, turn right and then oh, turn okay. left. So I just want to put this in context. This PC is actually pretty great. Uh, the GeForce uh, TI 4200 is technically the lowest uh, of its uh, released grouping of GPUs, but back then the GPU differences were only um, the uh, clock That's, rate. There so, you go, that fence. So it's actually not that much slower than its siblings. Uh, it, for example, you can just see some footage yeah, on no, here. No, straight. Oh. Okay. Through, through, yeah, go through there. So I would love to sit still, but you know, the game just wants me to walk. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe I hit the walk button. If there's a walk button, let me see if there is a walk button that I accidentally hit. Because this is chaos, dude. This is chaos. Is there a walk button? I'm not seeing it. I mean, clearly there is. A it's not like Splinter Cell where you use the mouse wheel to adjust your walking speed. Nope, uh, definitely not. So, well, my character's uh, shadow keeps disappearing, and he's got two here. Very curious that it does that. Hmm. Um, yeah. So, like, I, this PC, as I was saying, is pretty good. Here's footage of Max Payne being played. 640 by 480. It's between, like, 70 and 100 something FPS. Locked at 120. That is, that, that is pretty good, actually. That is pretty great. Max Payne looks much better than this game. Yes, it did. <laughs> it did. And it's, you know, it takes the concept of bullet time and makes it actually much more enjoyable to use and play with. It's so strange, this game's design. There are some aspects of the design which I find good or interesting. Yeah, sure. Uh, there's a hacking menu in the game, for example, where you are brought into like a, you know, like an old style terminal setting where you can, uh, you know, access files in the game and uh, essentially enter cheats uh, for the rest of the game uh, by, you know, uh, going through these menus and trying to figure out exactly how it works. Okay. There you go. Oh, look look at the garage per door. Look at this pervert <clears throat> lighting here. It's no, I know. I was just looking at all the vertices that are <laughs> highlighted by their lights everywhere. It's like, just you know. Look at all those. Yeah. I would love to sit still, but once again, the game has its own ideas. Okay, let's, one in the door. Let's go in the door. Incredible. Actually, so back then, I feel like this room would have been a little tricky because of all these transparencies mm -hmm. that it has to, has to render and sort through. Yeah, actually. So you have like multi-layer multi transparency. It doesn't seem to blend them necessarily. Like you can, you know what I mean? Like yeah, you see yeah. through one and then you it looks like the same level of transparency for all of them through the when viewed through one other pane. Yeah, it, it I don't know. It's not that good. Still, it's trick it's tricky. That's that's actually not easy to render for this time period, I would say. Oh, that's cool. You can actually break Whoa, do you see that animation? You can kick through the glass. Very I love that. context based. Uh, but this is still running really poorly. I shot broke the glass with my fist. So, so I do find that hacking idea very good. It's just the, the I generic like that, yeah. yeah, the generic gameplay that makes up this game um, is the part that is not very good, unfortunately. I do love these guys. Just I really wish I would stop walking. I, I really something's wish. wrong. <laughs> What's okay, wrong? over here to the left, to the left. Okay, to I the mean, left. To I left, mean the, the left. fact that, that you can't walk <laughs> or you can't sit still, that's what's wrong. Okay, uh, we're in here. How's it? Oh, yeah, you can't sit still. Dang it. We could always reload the game, John, and have another yeah, technical it's... difficulties break. Oh, if I hold the right trigger, I can strafe. Ooh, really? Wacky legs. Actually, you know, let me go into first person. Maybe that will solve the issue, because you can't. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me go into first. So, seriously, I'm walking now, and now I cannot go into first person mode. Oh, because you oh. have to stop. Yeah, so let me just get myself in a corner here. No, he just. Oh, okay. He stopped up, moving. Ah, no, no, that's not gonna work either. Let's wait till the next save, John, and then that I can Press do a the restart. Button. Turn, turn around, turn around. Oh, no, it's on, over there. Yeah, that red, big red button. See, this one I can interact with. That's incredible. Okay. So it worked. Now we go in the other door down this, down over here. Incredible. Man, this is a disaster over there. <laughs> Your PC is like blowing up. It is maybe, blowing up. Maybe this. Yeah, let's save, uh, and I then. I hope this doesn't overwrite my my save. Oh, I hope that so. Progress is important. Yeah, that progress is important. Um, I'm gonna do a quick technical difficulties break here, people. Just be right back. Oh. 
And we're back. Again. 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 You fixed it. Fixed it. Um, interesting, we're noticing a little difference right now where the Xbox version has a slightly narrower FOV for reasons unknown. And I have restarted the game using the proper LODs. Uh, so no longer the forced lower LODs, but the real ones. So the Xbox version should look very similar now to the PC version. Uh, let's, talk, let's see how it performs, though. Yeah, let's, let's go. see how that performs. I'm going to bring up the trusty fraps just so people in the audience get a sense of what I'm talking about here. Oh, there's some baddies here. Just like a random, you know, like quake level of geometry hallway and it dips to like 40, <laughs> 40 FPS for reasons. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Now we can actually do some nice comps, John. This is this yeah. is so good. I'm oh so yeah, happy. so we're out here. Mm. We get this distant flow. Wait, what, distant what's going flow. on with my screen? Wait, what happened? I don't know. You're like the wall is not rendering the in the proper order. So I have I'm using the proper. Oh, so the wall here just doesn't render correctly. Yeah, it's missing. It's missing. It's not even. It doesn't even look like an ordering thing. Yeah, it's just oh, like. Wait, it's like. It's semi-transparent. It's like calling. It's like reverse calling. What is it's going call, on? It's calling around the camera. <laughs> Wait, okay, so let's kill these dudes and take a look a little bit more at this, because this is. Uh... I'm, I'm amused for this. There was a mode in in Q test where you could essentially uh, reverse the calling. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh and, yeah, that's and it right. Did, it did something like this. <laughs> okay. Okay, one thing they did well, I'm pretty sure they're stock sound effects, but uh -oh. I do think the guns actually sound pretty okay. Yeah. Audio's fine. Like, the music in the game is Good. not uh, directly from the Matrix soundtrack, necessarily. No. But it is aping it in a, w in a way that is pretty great, I would say. Okay, so what what is happening here? So there's something with these walls here on your setup? Yeah, they, they almost look like the texture is set to transparent on my end. So you're in by that gate. Let's yeah, see. yeah. Check it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to exactly where you are. To put away my guns, like you are too. Here, I'll but, stand over here. Yeah, let's go to first person mode. Okay. Look, look, look at this. Like my wall. <laughs> you just see through the wall on mine. So I didn't expect that, honestly. Um, but I guess that's some issue with the game. I, I can still see the wall texture, though. Yeah, I know. It's like partially but, there huh. this is why man the matrix is a crazy place also for some reason my help uh button isn't showing up anymore maybe i'm playing on normal now i'm not sure uh, i don't think i am uh, but let's uh continue onward to glory i'm yeah, gonna follow to you glory. here because uh i don't actually know where to go so the level design here um it's not good. It's not very good. There's really no uh, good signposting. A lot of the areas look very, very, very similar. Yep. Uh, John. I'm... I can probably at least show like the driving sequence or the turret stuff yeah. if you want. Oh, yeah. We can get up there. I mean, we'll and, beat this level unless, soon. And, well, <laughs> not, as soon, not as soon as you think. It's a, This is a really long level. Okay. You so... actually... Okay, so we're going back out. That's what we're doing. And uh, then we're going to end up coming back in. I'm supposed to go over so here we... then, presumably. Uh, no. You get lost. Oh, no. Oh, no. This... It's the beginning. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Just... No, stop. To, to the right. To the right. Go straight, straight that way. Like, to the left. To, no, left. Yeah. That's the direction. Okay, that, no. That direction? Yes. I don't know. You have to find another way to get there, but that's the direction. Okay, um, I, I I believe go. you, John, and okay. I believe now in myself. Now turn right, turn right. Now straight, straight yeah. through there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just nope, keep not there. Keep going. Like you don't want to go over there. You keep looking over there. That's not. Oh, right. I thought it was over there. Straight. I keep go straight. Ah and right and Left. And there we go. Oh wow! It's really look at the now. aim. Look at what's going on here with the. Uh... The aiming thing. No, but I don't know if you see it, but the. There's an invisible wall right here, and you can see the yeah. decals applied to it. Oh, that's amazing. There is a cover system. It's a soft cover system. I didn't know that. Incredible. Well, I'm going to continue on. No one can be told what the Matrix is. <laughs> so is there a door here? No. No, I there is. Know. I, 
I, I don't even know where you're at now because I can't tell. It's no, well, no, no, I'm supposed to go over here, but the door didn't load. No, that's not where you're supposed to go because it's like an elevator. That's not right. Oh, it isn't? Okay, well then I'll... The geometry there, not the, loading. Is, uh, is I, I, it's breaking. I can't, I can't perceive where you're supposed to go because of the geometry breaking. I also cannot perceive where I'm supposed to go at this moment. Uh, the game no, feels soft. It's not there. It's, it's definitely not, not there. there. Okay. Uh, you're right. Is oh, see that catwalk over there to the left. See the catwalk up there. Okay. Some somewhere over there, I think is where you need to be. Okay, I think I can climb the fence here. Yeah, that's this delicious. Is like, delicious. That, go through that door there. <laughs> go through that door. The character's aiming is so poor without using the focus mode. It is, it is just bizarre. Yes, I would like to save. Please, actually, have geometry on the other side of this door. Whew. Okay, so we're back at the so, beginning. So, Whew. Okay. Now we have to run and do something here, and then we have to go back out there. Can't wait, John. Can't wait. So, like, I, I'm hoping people are seeing this, just, like, the way when you engage with the enemy, as soon as the camera starts swinging around, the performance goes to, like, 20, 30, in the teens. Ugh. I feel like I feel like the Fraps is weirdly optimistic. <laughs> it's not going to be able to show the uh, the stutters, because, you know, it's an age, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, I do like the kick animation when you push forward. That's that's a positive of this game. Like John's, like that looks cool when the way John does that. Doesn't look cool on my screen. That's for certain. Hey, we gotta get to the elevator. Yep, that's right. I'll wait for you. What just get happened? Those, get those guys. Oh, I can't. I think the, the game looks better with the uh, uh, cumulative accumulation blur. Yeah. Enabled, right. Look like, at yours. Just running all the time. It looks cool as heck. Mine doesn't have that. I'm running it right now. None of that. In the elevator. Come on, let's go. Oh. What? what? Okay. That was a really awkward right. transition, but I'll, I'll take it. You have no choice. I have no choice. This is the way the game is. The Welcome LOD to the still Matrix. doesn't seem right, oddly enough. Uh, I, th I think, really, truly, every problem with the game's performance is somehow tied to the way that they're handling their geometry. So you, you're lucky you've got that nice little thing telling you where to go. I'm following your yeah, screen, essentially. Well, the problem is, is look, it's the arrow's pointing here. Oh, I have to do something with one of these boxes, I think. All right, so let's... There, uh, yeah, you're the last one in press used. Look at that. Go Oh, yeah. So is this using some interesting-looking, almost like the environmental map on their... On yeah, their I think so. Glasses or the way their heads are modeled and their face masks reminds me of, of bad tessellation. It really does, actually. Oh, so like that is one hundred percent them being like, "This is the first Matrix film," because that exactly happens in the first yep. Matrix film, um, which once again is one of the best movies ever made. I think we're gonna do a DF after dark at some time talking about the Matrix films, just because yeah, we, we love should. them so much. Oh, shotgun. Oh, now we're back. Here, I won't touch the controller. But, oh, well. Yeah. It's different. It's, it's moving slowly. Yeah, so my uh, FOV is different than yours. It like is. The default. Sure. FOV. Also, well, also look at the placement. Like, your legs are cut off in your shot. Yeah, what is, what is that about? Did they think that PC players... I have, I have no idea. I wish, I wish I had a general idea. So that's one of the first times I've ever seen a different default camera placement in a, in a different version of the game. See, it's bespoke. They put all that time and effort into the PC version. You know, the, this, I find it extremely irritating that the smoke uh, damages you when you get near it. Like, I know. It's really hard to see on the PC version, even where the smoke is, because the texture is not very good. Like, I th I'm pretty sure the Xbox has more smoke on its screen. Do you want to look at the smoke really quickly? does not have more it looks weirdly oh, different though know. like the it filtering does, is really broken on mine oh yeah, you're right it just looks different yeah on the xbox it looks like that i'm gonna die Almost. here unless i you gotta get out of there into the elevator yeah flaunt that w buffer <laughs> yeah i'm gonna w buffer the heck out of these guys right here Whew. Yeah, that was a close one 
Oof, you entered the Matrix. <laughs> look oh, at yeah, the way he's just try... standing still there. <laughs> now we get to try to leave. Yeah, look, the whole camera is really different. I don't even know. Huh, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. I mean, I do love the Deus Ex style uh, double reflection geometry here. Yeah, me too. Take cover, they shut this place down. Oh, wow. What is... So I've got two different sets of pistols. I, I gotta use the W buffer here to even survive 20 FPS, 10 FPS, 18 FPS. W buffer. MP5, oh cool. Switch to that. Wow, your favorite got really low there. <laughs> this is the W buffer, John. I'm gonna. Woo! I would love to. He reloads? There's no reload button, is there? There's like no dedicated reload button. No, there is not. He just reloads when he wants to. That's very odd. Man, one of the best things about the Matrix, the Path of Neo. Is that all like the the walls and such have like chip damage so you like break the facade off mm, that is cool actually so it makes fighting in the in this place is pretty awesome because everything's just like breaking apart got a w buff for these guys Oof. so there is cover and it seems largely useless okay so i just used cover once you take care of them run back towards the elevator mm, again wow but you don't use the elevator. It's the door next to the elevator. Right. Right, yeah, see? Literally, right. Okay, so we go through there. Sometimes the use button is F, sometimes it's E. I, I actually don't no, we know. Can't. Now we have to go to the right and then up the little steps. Amazing. Now we, run out. Now we go <sighs> back to the mail room. <laughs> oh, this level is just. I mean, backtracking, uh, the, the, the funny enough, the, the name of the uh, save location was backtracking. That is pretty funny. Uh, oh, yeah, the loading. Yeah, the, the that Xbox, Xbox loading. What the hell happened? I hope he created a what kind of voice acting is that? Did you just hear that? No. I'm not listening to the sound. <laughs> the voice acting, you you would think professional actors could have done that line better. Was that the only take they had? What the hell happened? What the hell happened? I don't know. I just love it. I'm just focused on the mail spilling out of that vent. <laughs> There's like weird like sprite particle things. It is kind of oh. cool. It is running at... Oh, wait. Now, it's so... Okay, check this out. Oh, Do you see that? Up. Does it happen on Xbox too? If you look up and down, does well, the only way to look up and down is go to first person. Okay. It, it does not happen. The mail is consistent. Wow. So that's another thing that's happening. Um, gosh, the PC version here—it's not even just like pro performing poorly. It has a lot of visual errors. That was unexpected. <laughs> yeah, <it does. laughs> okay, now we go straight and run through this rubble. Graphics. Oh, the, the, those are bystanders. This place is full of fog. Little baddies that need the W buffer. That's what they need. I'm really fascinated by how just how many things don't work correctly on this PC version. <laughs> yes. You know, how did they ship this? I did mean, it, did, it, did it get a patch? It did get a patch. I'm running the patch. I'm sorry. I should have said <laughs> that, everyone. I'm running the patch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't actually think the game works without the patch on this GPU, to my knowledge. Oh, it doesn't but, work. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, this patch adds an EAX support, which I'm currently running. Yes, this PC has an Audi G2ZS in it, uh, which allows for great EAX hardware acceleration. Or is it a ZS? I don't know. It's one of the ones that has hardware acceleration. Uh, well, this has Dolby Digital 5.1. Oh my goodness. It definitely does not have that on PCs. <laughs> Oh my goodness, indeed. I, the one thing about the PC version, the one missed opportunity on PC is that, and maybe they did it actually, I didn't look, but on the main menu, the bottom option should be exit the matrix. I don't think it is. <sighs> I think it just says quit. Dang it. <laughs> missed opportunity. <laughs> Somehow, John, I think I got further than you here. 
My goodness. Oh, actually, you did. John, you're, slip, you're, li you're slipping up here, John. Here we go. I'm there. I'm there almost. Let me just W, to, w button my way to victory. <laughs> it looks actually good on your screen when you do that. It's such a I shame. Like it, yeah. I actually do like the, the, the blur effect. It looks pretty great. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're ready. Let's go let's, let's go up the quake the quake ramp. <laughs> <laughs> the quake ramp. I mean really. Actually do, doing those railings that small is a little bit annoying in the quake engine, but it can be done. Oh, hold on, I must load. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the door right here. The this idle is, animation is, is pretty funny. This looks like he's this is really to music. proving to be quite an adventure, I have to <laughs> this say. This is quite intense. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, we're here again. Dang it. What? I just don't want to be All here right. anymore. Let, let us out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This level just doesn't stop, does it? Look at these guys. The I would, frame. I would, I okay, would. so the con the, there are some contextual animations which are not bad, like rebounding off a wall. That does oh. deserve a little bit of respect, I guess. Um, okay, this is it. Go left. Go left. Oh, go left? left? Oh my god, let's get the get, hell out get of the here. Door. Get, the, get the door. Get the door. Get me out of here. You saw... Oh, he clipped through it. Wonderful. <laughs> Alright, this is, this is a very important scene. Just let me work the timing. It's time to get serious. So this may sound weird, but I think the textures on the character model on PC are unfiltered. Yeah, I, just, I was just going to say that. At least the reflection there... It's hard to tell from the, the the Discord stream, but it looks weird. Yeah, I think the textures on the character models, some aspects of them are unfiltered on PC. This yeah. game technically does allow you to turn off texture filtering, which is really weird Whoa. for a game from this era. Yeah, that's unusual. Here he goes. <laughs> this is incredible. Look at this. We we had seen better real time. We'd seen better real time cutscenes than this. Oh yeah, we uh, have. at this point. We got him. He's down which makes it all seem way. a little bit silly. All right, here we go. This is this is the big time. This is the big time. Oh man. Let's get going. I think those sirens are for us. <laughs> it actually does. Yeah. It's still loading. Oh. Okay. I can't wait for this, John. Let's go. Okay. So now it's a turret scene. Oh, this looks terrible. My hand's clipping with the gun. Yours is too. Also, this this scene runs at 30. This one's at 32 on mine. 32? Really? Yeah, 30, 25. Okay, no, it just runs whatever. Yeah. It just runs terribly. But it is locked 30, interestingly. Am I not supposed to shoot them? Okay, well. Uh, well, wait for the enemies to show up. So There's no music be, here. It's really awkward. There seems to be a lot of sound on the Xbox, but I, I can't hear it. So yeah, this this scene they tried to do a, a cinematic. They basically. Do you remember the Matrix so, demo that we just looked at, John? <laughs> yeah, it's exactly that. This is exactly that. Uh, Actually, you should you should probably do a side by side of those two. You got to this. show how far we've come. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Oh god, yes. this recording's so destroyed from my cackling. Like, every second I'm cackling. Okay, the music just got awesome, though. Oh, yeah. So, man, them attempting to do this in this engine. A giant open sort of environment to drive around. This is effectively like that part of the prologue in Cyberpunk. It so is. It's just as good as that, that as well, too. My goodness. Oh, <laughs> Wait, did... Did your car go sideways for a second? I don't like know. It's something doesn't look at, something doesn't seem right with my game. It's it's it's, behave, <laughs> it's behaving weirdly. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to, this is supposed to be scripted, right? Like yeah. Like my my car is going. <laughs> I, it's getting stuck. <laughs> so the PC version is really well made, as you can tell. <laughs> Trying to get back into <laughs> And all the while it's playing like this super hardcore music. 
Uh, that is actually not bad. Like, honestly, it's not bad. I just love the uh, the hand. So for some reason, there's no texture filtering on the weapon. I, I don't know why. Oh, I did it. Oh, nice. We're going off a bridge here. Look, the car just went through the bridge. Woo! See, my, my sequence finished first, even though if they were scripted, they should have finished at the same time. Oh, they really should have. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. My screen just went black. <clears throat> um, I mean, mine's showing the next cutscene. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, John! Well, John... I think we gotta that's finish the... this cutscene. Okay, well, I'm gonna we let gotta... this cutscene go out on your end, but I think we've shown the Matrix. Enter the <laughs> Matrix. Is the... <laughs> on this piece. is the perfect place to end it, Alex. <laughs> uh, I think so. Incredible Ooh. comparison here, John. Uh, some of the best technology I've seen on the channel at this point in time. Best PC version I've ever played. John, I really want to thank you for joining me, talking about Enter the Matrix on these two uh, platforms. Unfortunately, Audi could not join us today. He would have been showing off the PS2 version, but he's busy with some stuff. But I hope you enjoyed this uh, silly romp here through uh, Enter the, <laughs> the Matrix on PC and console. So if you did like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're already a subscriber, hit that little bell in the corner to be informed as soon as DF uh, makes a video. You know, also Patreon. hit... Hit that don't send button. <laughs> that because don't we send don't need button. to send a report to Microsoft because of Matrix.exe. I do not think so as well. Uh, everyone, I will say Auf Wiedersehen und Matrix Jump! Ah, there we go. What the hell happened?